We all dream of hitting that game-winning shot in our backyard just as the buzzer expires, but for how many of us does that dream really come to fruition? I'm Zach for DevilsDigest.com, and for me, it didn't come to fruition, but for Marcus Bagley, a five-star recruit out of Sheldon, California, it's all about to come together next week. After the game, I'll go right home in the backyard and literally pretend I was playing playing against U of A or something like that. I was playing, I was on ASU playing against U of A in the championship. So it's, it's like I said, it's still kind of a surreal feeling that I'm actually here and next week. I'm going to actually, I'm going to be in an ASU uniform. Marcus Bagley grew up in Arizona watching legends like James Harden play for the Sun Devils. He knew his time would come. It was always something I look forward to during the week. Like, oh, when, when is the next home game? When is, I'm just excited to get out there and play. I was, I've been wanting to play since it was the Pac-10. And <laughs> so now, now that I get the opportunity, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take it for granted. He's up next in a family where basketball is everything. His grandfather, Jumpin' Joe Caldwell, played for ASU in the 1960s. His number 32 jersey now hangs in the rafters at Desert Financial, and Marcus will be the next to wear it. His older brother, Marvin Bagley III, was the second overall pick in 2018 and was named to the NBA All-Rookie First Team as a Sacramento King in 2019. But now the spotlight is on Marcus. Everybody just know me as Marvin Marvin Bagley's little brother or Joe Caldwell's grandson or stuff like that. But I I made it a point to just focus on being the best me. And right now I'm just focused on getting better better myself on it and off the court. So people will know my name. He'll bring a play style to guard you that should complement the other players on the floor. His 6'8", 215-pound frame is atypical of a guard, but that's just how he does it. I want to fit in that big guard area of the game, like Paul George, Kawhi Leonard. I want to fit in that in that area of the game. Beyond the three-point line, I feel like that's a, a huge part of my game, and that's going to help us a lot, stretching the floor out and um, allowing my guards to get downhill without much help if they help they can kick it out and they can trust me to hit a three if we do what we're supposed to do this year and win as many games as we want to i feel like all the individual stuff will take care of itself after watching friends go through last night's draft bagley shared some of his own expectations as well i try not to look at the draft and look at the nba right now and just oh um, that's where I would, that's my goal the time the time will come where i have to make a decision and right now i want to uh focus on winning with my teammates and everything else to take care of itself. This is a piece in a series of player profiles to get to know ASU men's basketball better before tip-off against Baylor. If you know me, I've been an ASU fan since I, since I can remember, so I've dreamed about putting, this, putting the jersey on and to be able to do it finally on the biggest stage against, against a, good, a good Baylor team. Um, I'm, I'm going to be a little lost of words, but you know, at the same time, I got to find a way to get get locked in and get ready to go out there and compete. For all your season coverage and recruiting news, keep it locked in to DevilsDigest.com and give us a follow on Twitter at Devil's Digest.